guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is finally going to be a makeup tutorial using my new Jamie Johnston brush set, the White and Copper collection. So you get 10 brushes in the set and this is what they look like. Some of them are a little dirty as of course I've just used them in this tutorial. But yeah, that is what they look like. They're absolutely stunning. They are so, so soft and these have actually been washed as well. They don't change their shape. They just stay as soft as they were when they were brand new and I love them. What can I say? I just want to quickly mention why this video is so late in going up as I released these brushes three or four weeks ago now. I filmed a look using these brushes and I just didn't like how it turned out even though I posted a picture of it on Instagram. The video just didn't go as well as I thought it did so I just decided to film again today. So yeah like I said these are my brushes you get 10. Most of these brushes are multi-use. I'd basically say that all of them are multi-use actually. For instance the foundation ones obviously are used for foundation any cream product really like liquid highlighter, uh, cream contour, concealer, foundation and you can also use them to buff in your fake tan. For instance like around your wrists and stuff you can just buff in your fake tan on your face, buff it in, around your ankles etc etc. So you don't just have to use these for say foundation which probably most people just assume they're only for foundation. They're not. The powder brush can be used for powder obviously foundation, uh, bronzer, blusher. The fan brush really is only for highlighting. This angled eye brush can be used for your eyebrows, uh, carving out your eyebrows and winged liner. The large concealer brush can be used for concealer, carving out your brows and also eyeshadow and also you can use it as a lip brush. The same as this medium shadow brush, you can use this for shadow, carving out your brows and a lip brush. And this large shadow brush you can use for obviously eyeshadow and you could also use it as a lip brush even though it is a little bit more fluffier. And the setting brush, like it says in its name, you can use to set your powder, you can use this to buff in your concealer, you can use this for a highlight and you can also use it to buff in a crease colour all over your eye. Oh, so that was a mouthful. Uh, yeah, they're my brushes and different ways how to use them. Without further ado, and for me to stop rambling, I'm just going to jump right into the video. So if you want to see how I created this look using these brushes, then please just stay tuned, keep on watching, and I really, really hope you enjoy. Also, quickly, if you want to purchase the brushes, the link is down below. I'll shut up now. So as you can see, I've already done one eye. So this is the eye look that we're going to be doing today. We are going to be doing a full face, of course, but just this is the eye look I went for. I just prefer doing one eye to kind of get the gist of the look I want to go for. And then I like doing the other eye. So anyway, I'm going to start off doing my eyebrows like I always do. And I'm going to use my NYX Tame and Frame Eyebrow Pomade. This is in the shade 04 espresso so i'm just going to do them how i normally do there is an angled eye brush in the collection and this is what it looks like it is a little bit large for doing your eyebrows i like quite a small brush like so however if you wanted just a quick sweep of color you could actually use it for that because i have done that with that brush and it works perfectly fine but most days i like my eyebrows quite defined so that's why I go in with a smaller brush. So now I've filled in that brow and my brows always look really, really messy before I clean them up. Hence why I clean them up. So to do so, of course, I'm using my MAC Select Cover Up in the shade NW. 15 and I also use this as an eye base so it's perfect it's like a two-in-one I use it to clean up my brows and to use as a base for my shadows so I'm just gonna go in with that and apply it oh and to do so I'm using the large concealer brush from the collection this is amazing at carving at your brows and popping on the base and setting it I really really love this brush I use this brush every single time I do my makeup now as with a few of these brushes <laughs> basically all of them because obviously they are my own brushes but yeah I really really love this brush especially for this step <laughs> use 
the flat top foundation brush from the collection and I'm just going to buff in these edges just because select cover up dries quite quickly and obviously if you do not buff in these edges it becomes like a mask and does not budge. Okay so now I'm going to go in with the large shadow brush from this collection and I'm going to use my Doll Beauty Like a Diamond highlighter and I'm going to use this brush to apply the product and then apply it to my brow bone. I literally just dab it on and this brush just puts the perfect amount onto the brow bone. So now moving on to the shadows. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and I'm actually going to be using three colours from here but the first colour I'm going to use is Burnt Orange and I'm just going to smoke this right into the crease and just blow it out. I don't really have any blending brushes in this collection however the setting brush you could use this to buff a colour right into your socket. It is quite big but it does the job that way but um, I'm going to be a bit more precise so I'm using a smaller brush and this is just a Morphe one. So yeah, I'm just going to buff this right into my eye. Starting off in the middle and working my way up and to the sides. Just blowing it right out really. I'll try and use the setting brush in another video um, and show you how to use it as an eyeshadow brush. I completely forgot one step. I forgot to apply some tape. So I'm just going to quickly apply this and try and match up with the other eye. Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Red Ochre. And again, unfortunately, this isn't a brush from my collection. I don't have a brush like this in my collection. So I'm just using one from another brand. And I'm just applying this, as you can see, in like a circle shape. And I'm not going as high up as I did with the other color, just so we don't lose it, but I'm basically just building up that product. Then I'm gonna go back in with the brush I used Burnt Orange on and blend that out. Just so there are no harsh lines between the two colors. I'm gonna apply a little bit more red ochre so it's more dark and more pigmented as each time you blend, you obviously lose some of the color. So I just like to go back in with it. And I'm placing it all over the lid too. With the brush that I applied Burnt Orange on, I'm going to pick up a little bit more of that colour and continue blending. Okay, so now for the winged liner part. I'm going to use the shade Cypress Umber, which is the darkest shade in this palette. And as you can see, I'm going to use the angled brush in this collection, which, like I said before, you can use this for your brows. However, I like mine a little bit more defined. As you can see, this brush is quite large. And if you just want a dust of product through your brows, make them look super natural, then of course you can use this. But say, for instance, if you buy the collection and you're like, what the hell am I going to do with this brush? I don't want to use it for my brows. You can use this brush for a look like this and it'll work amazingly well. So yeah. As I said, these brushes are very, very multi-use, so this is another way you can use this brush. So, like I said, I'm going to get that dark brown shade, and I'm basically just going to stamp this brush right onto the lash line area, and I'm just going to apply it like it's liner, but it's shadow, so it gives more of a softer effect. Then I use the tape as like a guideline and like the tip of the brush. To create the wing. It doesn't matter if it starts to look too harsh because you can always blend it out. And when I've got my rough guide I just like to peel off the tape as tape can be quite annoying on your eyes. Okay so now I'm gonna go in with an even smaller brush as you can see this is really really tiny and I'm gonna go over the work that I've already done so I'm gonna go over the winged liner just to make sure everything's pigmented so it stands out compared to the red. So now I'm gonna go in with the brush that I applied the red with and just go over the tops of that winged liner, kind of just blend it out a little bit. And then get the brush that I applied burnt orange and also further blend. With that small brush, any kind of product that I've dusted away and isn't so pigmented on this winged liner, 
I'm just gonna add in a touch more product. Then with a makeup wipe, I'm just gonna wipe away any fallout. I'm also just gonna clean up this wing ever so slightly. So now I'm gonna apply some MAC Select cover up to underneath of my eye so I can place shadows underneath of my eye as well, like on this side. And I'm also using this concealer to clean up this wing as well. And just like before, I'm gonna get that flat top foundation brush again and just blend out the edges. So I want this look to be quite smoky, so I'm gonna apply my MAC eyeliner and I'm just gonna place this on my waterline. I'm really sorry if this grosses people out but I'm using the viewfinder in my camera as a mirror. Then I'm gonna go in with the shade Red Ochre and just apply that underneath my lash line area. Then with a smaller blending brush, I'm just gonna ever so slightly underneath the Red Ochre, apply the Burnt Orange shade just so you can see it. And then apply some more red ochre and then blend underneath now i'm going to use my doll beauty highlighter and just the same brush that i used earlier this isn't from my collection you'll probably be able to tell that and i'm just going to highlight my inner corners Okay, so now I'm gonna apply some mascara. This is just the MAC one that I always seem to use. And I'm gonna apply this to the tops and bottom lashes. Then for eyelashes, I'm gonna use my angel lashes. And I've just put a little bit of dual lash glue on them. These are a tiny little bit grubby. I have worn them quite a lot and haven't done a deep clean yet. I didn't have enough time before I did this video. Okay, so now I'm moving on to the rest of the face. I thought I would zoom out a little bit. I'm gonna be spraying my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Just a couple of sprays to prime my face, like it says in the name. Then I'm gonna apply some MAC Strobe Cream to my face. So I'm just gonna apply it with my fingers first, like pop on my skin. So I'm really just gonna apply it where I normally highlight, even though I normally highlight like absolutely everywhere and um, so yeah I'm just gonna pop it in those areas and then with the round top foundation brush from my collection I'm just gonna buff that in I really really like the show cream because it gives such a subtle glow and it's really really nice and moisturizing sometimes I do apply it all over my face but my face is quite oily so I'm just gonna apply it on the places where I highlight. Okay, so next for foundation, I'm gonna use my MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. And like I just did with the Stroll Cream, gonna apply with my fingers and then blend it in with a brush. So I'm just gonna use that flat top foundation brush and basically stamp it into my skin. This brush is amazing for foundation as I do like the stamping technique to apply my foundation and I just feel like the surface of this is quite large and it just covers a big amount of space on my face and just yeah does this technique really well <laughs> I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and again just going to dot this where I want to apply it. So for the more delicate areas, so my eyebrows, I like using the slanted eye brush to carve out the tops of my brows. I just feel like it works really really well so you can draw the line where you want to carve out and then like push the product out the way so then you can blend out with this brush or with your foundation brush. I just think it works really really well. Then I'm just going to do the exact same on the other side. Then to 
blends everything in, I'm going to use the angled foundation brush. I really, really like this for concealer because I feel like you can get right into the nooks and crannies. Um, and yeah, I'm just blending up here too, where I just carved out my brows. <laughs> And also, whilst I'm doing this step, I just want to show you that you can use the setting brush to also blend in your concealer. I really actually quite like using this to blend in your concealer. Um, it's really, really nice, so you can just buff it in, pat it in, and I feel like this is a perfect size to get in between your eyebrows, so like the monobrow area, and just buff in your concealer. I also like to use this to buff in the concealer to the front of my brows. I don't like them being too harsh, so just a light little buff does the trick. Um, and yeah, I really, really like this brush to buff in my concealer. Again, this brush is another multi-use one. So at this point, around my brows and things is done. So I'm going to go in with my brow gel. This is the Essence one. Um, and I'm just going to comb through my brows and just set them in place so they are quite neat. Okay, so now I'm gonna set my face. I'm gonna use my Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder. This looks a bit too worn and torn. And I'm gonna use the setting brush again. And I'm just gonna set around the more delicate areas and then use the powder brush in the collection to do like the rest of my face. Because like I said, my face gets oily. So I'm going to need to powder everywhere today. Sometimes I just do the areas I'm currently doing with the setting brush and that's completely fine. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to powder everywhere today. I especially love this brush for on the go and little touch ups because it's perfect to go around your nose. And my nose and my chin is where it gets oily the quickest and sometimes my smile lines go a bit funny. So like I blend in the foundation and the powder together for my smile lines. But yeah, really perfect for on the go and it's not exactly going to take up lots of room in your handbag, that brush. So yeah, like I said, using this powder, going to use the powder brush to do the rest of my face. You can also use this brush for foundation as well. I should have showed you that. But um, maybe I'll do that in another video, but it's quite good for foundation too. So next, I'm going to use the fan brush to highlight. I'm going to wet the brush and I'm going to use the Doll Beauty Highlight. You can also use that setting brush to highlight too. Um, it's quite a good size to highlight. Um, I'll maybe actually show you that as well. So yeah, I just apply the highlight with the fan brush to the tops of the cheekbones and then kind of go up. I always do my highlighter in like a C shape. And then the tops of my forehead, my nose, cupid's bow, chinny chin chin. And then this fan brush is perfect for going like down your nose. Okay, and I'm going to do the other side with the setting brush. So again, squish, squish, and then just apply it. <laughs> Again, it's a really, really nice brush to apply highlight with. Now for bronzer, I'm going to use my MAC Medium Tan Bronzer, the one I always use, and I'm going to use the powder brush and just bronze up my skin with this. And with the same brush, I'm going to apply some blusher. I'm going to use this one here. This is by MAC. And it's called Coral or Peaches, I believe. After this video, I'll take it out and I'll link it down below as usual. And I'm just going to apply this to the apples of my cheeks and up into the bronzer where I applied that. Okay, so now it's time for lips. The lip liner that I'm going to use is the Gosh Lip Liner in the shade Raisin. <laughs> Then the lipstick I'm going to use is the shade Whirl by MAC and I'm actually going to use the medium shadow brush in this collection. This brush is quite dense as you can hopefully see and I really really like it for applying lipstick especially on clients and I'm starting to get into the habit of applying lipstick on a brush to myself so that's what I'm going to be doing today. <laughs> I'm 
because the eyes are quite matte today, I didn't want to leave the lip matte. I wanted to add some gloss. So I'm going to use the Peaches Fudge Gloss and I've never actually used this before. So on the exact same brush, I'm just going to apply the gloss and just apply that to my lips. And last but not least, I'm going to spray my face with the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. So guys, that's this makeup look complete. I really hope you enjoyed this look. I really, really like how it turned out and I'm super duper happy that I can now show you like this is what you can achieve using these brushes. And also, of course, I'm just happy in general that I can share my new brush set. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to purchase the brushes, I will leave the link down below. It's always linked down below. The link to my shop is always there. And if you do take a picture of the brushes, do like a video review, do let me know because I do repost basically everything related to my products on all my social media. And also, and lastly, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so if you haven't already, as it literally means the world to me. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I shall see you in my next one. Bye guys!